decided we'll go to war with the Turks. This <laughs> shall be in Constantinople by Christmas. But what about the French and the British, Your Majesty? Surely they will be in a position to confront us. I have a simple idea about that, Count Medvedev. We invade, but we don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we tell them they are unhappy Orthodox Christians upset at being oppressed by the Ottomans. <laughs> Perfect solution, Your Majesty. I'm confident that no one will ever suspect my real intentions. God save Tsar Nicholas! <laughs> This is an intolerable intrusion on Turkish sovereignty. <laughs> you have run too far this time. Prepare for more! <laughs> How lovely to make your acquaintance. What are you talking about? We know nothing about any intrusions on Turkish sovereignty. You know perfectly what I'm talking about. The bloody war you have started in Moldavia. You're mistaken, my friend. They are but pious Orthodox Christians rebelling against the Turkish oppressors. They are wearing Russian uniforms. How could you tell? The design, the bullet, and the regimental symbols, but mainly the fact that they have Russia written on the sleeves. We <laughs> <laughs> even took it together type, look. Hmm. This, this does not look authentic at all. You, you clearly the girl shot it. We did what? Manipulated the image. Perhaps you paid your artist to embellish the photos of it. We couldn't have done such a thing. You know very well that French artists are capable of painting nothing but nude women. <laughs> what can I say? Perhaps it was a fancy dress party and everyone just came as a Russian soldier. No more excuses! Prepare for war! We will capture Sebastopol and free the Mediterranean from Russian tyranny. Do your first! But the French army will be crushed by the Russian bear, just as we crushed the Turks. But don't forget, you will be facing the British as well. The British? The British are perfidious and treacherous scum and will do anything for money. Do not think they will support your imperial ambitions. How dare you insult the beloved trolley of the French Empire? The British are a trustworthy, noble people and their cuisine is exceptional. <laughs> As a Frenchman, could you seriously say that? I mean it? <laughs> the British are the best. <laughs> Cricket, warm beer, Yorkshire pity. <laughs> what is there not to like? <laughs> and, of course, they have an impressive military pedigree. Ah, your impressive military pedigree. Uh, you mean Agincourt, Trafalgar, <laughs> Waterloo? Certainly! <laughs> The British are the scum of the earth! And I do not understand why we are allies. In any case, we have no need for the British. But we have also concluded an alliance with Belgium! <laughs> we did not expect the Belgians to be fighting on your side! The Belgians make the best firearms in the world. Prepare to be annihilated by the Belgian rifles! But, 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 but this changes everything! <laughs> Sorry, my friend. Russia is at its day. She may be driven out of Crimea and Ukraine, and never to return again. Never again shall Russia tyrannize over the peoples of Eastern Europe. Marshal, Marshal, run to the Belgian embassy. See whether the Belgians are really going to be fighting against us. They promise to be neutral. <coughs> you think I'm not telling you the truth? It doesn't take the greatest leap of faith to imagine a lie in French. <laughs> 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 They have no intention of joining the war. Thank you, Masha. You're welcome, Your Excellency. Will I get any more lines in the sketch? As a woman in the Russian Foreign Ministry, you're lucky to have two. Now go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say to that, mon ami? Oh, damn. I forgot the Belgian embassy was next door. I didn't have the time to come up with an explanation. First rule of urban planning. Built the embassy of the world's mightiest nation next door to the foreign ministry <laughs> to enable swift negotiations and catch up lying Frenchies. Okay, so I was lying about the Belgians, but we do have another ally, just as fuck me down. Do you win? The kingdom! Well, at least it's not a principality. Of Sardinia! But it might as well just. <laughs> <laughs> Historical context. <laughs> 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 so the 
Italy and Piedmont joined the Allied coalition in order to seek support for the unification of Italy. The courage shown by the Sardinians won them a place at the peace conference, allowing them to express their unification plans to the major European powers. This was finally carried out in 1861 under the auspices of Sardinian king Victor Emmanuel. 